Hey friends, it's Lindsay with Emeralds and Fairy Lights here and I have an unboxing from Craftably. So you guys, these were part of their, I believe it was like their spring pre-order. No, I just have to explain. Craftably has had an incredibly hard time getting their pre-orders in from their manufacturer. There's just been so many obstacles. Um, they are completely like kind of redoing it. They're not going to do pre-orders anymore. They're just going to have orders come in. Um, a lot of these orders that people have been waiting on are finally coming in. Um, and so you're going to see those coming <laughs> in gradually and stuff like that. And they have a whole bunch of Jasmine Beckett Griffiths that they had up for pre-order that are now for sale on their site, including these two. You can purchase these right now. They're in stock on the site. So the two that I got are Faces of Fairy 112 and Windswept. So these are both Jasmine Beckett Griffiths and these, of course, because I'm hosting the Jasmine Beckett Griffith along too with my friend Crafting with Shay. Now I am not an affiliate of Craftably, but Shay is an affiliate and she does have a code for first time purchasers. So I will have that link down below. I believe it's Shay20, but I will definitely link down below the correct code. So make sure if you're a first time purchaser that you take advantage of that. Now. Um, I have ordered from them before and of course one of the things that a lot of people notice right away with Craftably is these tubes. These tubes are actually going to be going away. They made an announcement that if you have placed a pre-order or you order before August 10th, your order will come in a tube. But after the August 10th deadline, they're going to start coming in a box, which you guys, I love boxes. So I am, I'm excited for the boxes, but the tubes are still pretty cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and just cut these open so we can get into them because they've got this plastic wrap. Now, um, they do have their toolkits outside of the packaging. So I don't know if this is gonna continue with their boxes, but they do as far as their tubes go. So if you do order from Craftably, make sure to check your box for <laughs> these toolkits because they have a super deluxe toolkit. So I'm just gonna show you with one. Now they have some different stuff in here, um, like, um, you know, that, that's just different depending on your kit and well, I guess it's not depending on your kit, but just whichever toolkit it's random, um, that are different in each kit. Um, and so that's fun. And I think they were kind of like, seemed like they're the first kind of pioneering of the washi tape and cover minders in their toolkit. I'll be completely honest. So right here, you've got a pen, you have got, it looks like a four placer, a skinny four placer right here, your tweezers, you've got a mafsa boat and you've got a soft squishy. It looks like you've got another four placer in there and some wax. So this is just a craftably toolkit right here. Now the rest of this deluxe toolkit, you are going to get a cover minder. So it looks like I got a heart right here in this nice case. You are going to get two things of washi. So I got these two random washies. And then you do also get a craftably branded wax container in this little um, nice screw um, container right there. And so, you know what, this is gonna keep your wax safe and it'll keep it, you know, closed well because there is that screw on lid there. Now this one, we'll look really quickly and just see. Looks like these are the washi tapes. And then this is the cover minder, this cute little raindrop in the, the clear glitter. How cute, okay. So that is the Craftably toolkit in case you're wondering. Now I believe they have said that these tubes are random. You can't request a color as of now, and, and you just can't request a color, they'll just come. They have, I believe, a pink, this blue, green, and a purple. And um, it's not even like coordinated per kit, it's just, I think, the random that they get it. So let's first off go with Faces of Fairy 112. So they have this cute tag on the tube, um, it shows you that this is a round and this is a 12 by 12 inch. And I thought this is so fun. I love these little 12 by 12 inches that they do. I've bought like every single one that they've come out with and I just adore them. I really look for projects I can work on during the day. If I have a minute, I can sit down. It's not always practical to have a giant diamond painting out on my kitchen table or wherever I'm at as a mom of two small children. I need to have my diamond paintings up far away, my supplies all kept safe, you know? Um, and so, but some of these smaller ones can be kind of a little bit manageable to have out if you have a break or something. So we have our kit or our 
diamond painting and it's in this bag, which is nice. Let's see if there's anything, nope, not anything else in this tube. So let's get ahead and look in here. Just going to So, Craftably does tape their canvases, so I like to take that off when I work on it, but for right now, I'm just going to cut that. In fact, actually though, I can just probably grab it right now. So, they do have a soft backing. It's, um, you guys can kind of see the material that it is. It's that kind of soft felt backing. This one is um, scalloped and poked to prevent um, fraying and stuff and I haven't really had an issue with it oh my goodness look right there already though look at how clear those symbols are looking look at that my goodness okay so let's go ahead and open this one up like I said this is just a small teeny tiny one um, oh this is cool so they've given us our drills and now they used to have pre bag drills but I think they they might have moved to the bag chain anyway if they move to these bag chains I'm I like bag chains so I'm just I'm gonna be honest here. um but this is from craftably they give you this whole thing you get all of these things with your 4.0 kit and I love that you have the option to plant a tree I think that is such a cool neat thing one way to offset your carbon footprint and you know with people that are really concerned about plastic um, also getting trees planted you have your how to diamond paint and then it shows you a little bit about the washi tape and cover minder you are going to get a sticker page with all of your stickers um, and labels individually cut you get these stickers so you get another one with your start and end date you can put in your logbook some fun stickers and it looks like right here this is showing us wow look at that is that seven there are four ab's and three crystals so if you ever see lz that is a crystal and ab is just means there's a shiny coating on it you have some extra label um, strips right here and it looks like there are 49 colors so if you're looking at that we'll go ahead and look at that now this is a poured glue canvas and so you should be able to roll it backwards without any problem. If you see any wrinkles or what you think look like bubbles in the glue, it's really just the cover and that that really isn't an issue with poured glue. Okay, I'm getting so much stuff right here. <laughs> so how cute is this? We've got the name of the painting as well as a small image of it right here and it lets us know that this is legally licensed. Um, and so that is great. Love to support companies that legally license and fairly compensate artists. You have got your size up here. Now, Craftably does do their sizes in inches. And if you're like me, and because of diamond painting, you're more familiar with centimeters or you live abroad where centimeters are common, they do um, provide the centimeters on their website now, I believe. Um, so this is so cute now look right down here you have a guarantee if you have any issues with the kit and then you can share your progress they give you social media um, where, where to post there and then you have your two legends on either side of the canvas so if you want to take a close-up look at that so far it looks really good Let's go ahead and look at these drills. Okay, looking at our drills, we have got 350, 351, 356, and 498. So reds and browns, so that's gonna be the majority of this kit. We've got 301, 310, 321, and 336. That's a blue, if you can't tell, it's a navy. We've got 3860, 3861, and 3863. So these were in DMC color and in number order. So, um, but in me cutting them up in smaller stuff, they kind of got a little bit mixed up, but we've got 154, this darker purple, and 300. So I guess it's kind of easier to see them right here. But we've got 3778, 3779, and 3854. 
3721, 3722, 3770, and 3773. And I'll show the backs of these drills to you guys. Very nice. Look at those flat bottoms, and they look like they have shiny tops. So we have got 898, 902, 918, and 920. Here they are. 921, 922, 950, and 951. Here are these. We have got 3033 and 3371. 535, 782, 783, and 814. 815, 842, and 892. 3864, and 3865. So moving on, we have our three crystals. So look at those, how fun. We've got this vibrant yellow, this orange, and this light pink. You can get a better view. Those are gonna be fun to look at and see where they go. And then we have got four ABs. We've got this white one, this red one, an orange one, and a pink one. You can see that shimmer on the top, the coating. That's how you know that they're AB. Those are going to be pretty. Okay, so your ABs, this first, this white one, is going to be this symbol right here. And this one you're going to find um, basically like up here in the eyes, a little bit on the strands. There's not a ton. There's a little bit in the eyes and again right here in the strands. There's a little bit on her lips and a little bit down here on her arms. So it's kind of like a little bit where the hair strands go across her skin is where you're gonna see that AB. Again, down here in this sort of curl of hair, you're gonna see that white. Now this um, AB35, which is a red, is going to be the sailor symbol. That's kind of what I call it. <laughs> and that one, you're, there's just gonna be a few. It's going to be right here in the lips. And that's about it, but there is only a few of these. Now, AB, I'm gonna show you this one, the 894, because this one is the bobby pin, that's what I call it, symbol. And that one's gonna go right along with that darker red one. And so on the lips, it's going to be right there. So basically your lips are going to be um, ABs and it will look pretty, it'll just have that glimmer to it. Now the orange, which is the 741, is going to be the symbol R. And that is going to be here in the wings that she has. Like she's like a monarch, almost like a monarch butterfly. And these are, this R in her wings is going to be really pretty and shimmery. Now um, the crystals that you have, um, this pink one is going to be an hourglass. And the hourglasses you are going to find again in the lips right here. You can see that. So it's gonna have ABs and crystals in it. And that's about it for the pink one. I don't see it in the eyes. Um, I don't really see it anywhere else, but you may be surprised and find it in a few other places. But the orange crystal is going to be this sideways equal sign. I don't know, what do you guys call that one? I'm like, it's, it's like an equal sign, but it's like <laughs> diagonal. Um, this one is going to be again in the wings right here. And then it's going to be over here. I'm sure there's a name for that symbol. <laughs> Just exposing my ignorance there. And then there is some up here as well. And this yellow is going to be the U symbol. And so you can see it right here. And this one is gonna be in the wings as well. 
it's going to be in these strands that come down. Um, so kind of basically where the white's going to be taking over a little bit, that white AB is going to be a lot of that yellow crystal down here. And then in her eyes, you're going to have that yellow crystal, which is going to be so pretty. So you guys, this is Faces of Fairy 112. Now I'll be completely honest. I'm not a fan of 49 colors for a 12 by 12, but I do know that's kind of craftably's thing is they like to have a gazillion colors in every um, painting and so as many as they can get in. Um, I would prefer that this be more closer to 25 colors. I think a lot of times what happens is you have a lot of shades that don't necessarily get picked up in such a small painting, but that's just my personal opinion. Let's move on to the next painting. So with Windswept, I guess she's the other way around. This one is also around. It's a 24 inch by 18 inch and isn't it cute? It's like a steampunk. I just think this one is so fun. I'm excited to see what they've done with it. So let's open up this kit. I'm gonna cut this plastic because that is a strong adhesive holding it shut. It's not gonna come out <laughs> when it's being shipped. So let's go ahead and look at these. This one is a landscape, and I feel like, yes, I was coming up. Oh, wow. Look at those pinks. Isn't that gorgeous? Now, this one, it looks like it's going to be 60 colors. canvas again you've got your information your warranty your two legends and then let's see look at the sticker sheet so this one again has a lot of ab's and crystals so we have got one two three four five six ab's and three crystals which is crazy that's pretty amazing there are 60 colors overall and so let's go ahead and look at these drills. Again, these ones are bag chains. And you'd have a sticker on here again, so that if you store your drills and canvas separately, you can always put them back together. Okay, we have got 154, 158, 164, 169, a big bag, 310, 317, 333, 335, 369, and 402. 413, 435, 472, 524, 613, 640, 642, 644, 727, and 776. Seven eighty, eight fourteen, eight fifteen, eight eighteen, eight twenty two, eight twenty four, eight ninety eight, nine twenty, nine twenty one, and nine fifty eight, nine sixty one, nine seventy five, thirty thirty one. 3042, 3354, 3371, 3687, 3799, 3814, 3833, 3853, 
We've got 3864, and then we're moving on to our eight Bs. We've got this lovely yellow. We've got a white, this orange, a purple, that's gonna be pretty, a lighter purple, a darker orange, and then we've got a yellow crystal, a green one, and a blue one. Go ahead and look and see where those are gonna go. Okay, so we have a ton of ABs to look at <laughs> and crystals. So I'm gonna try to go through this a little bit faster. Um, AB07 is Y, AB43 is Z, and AB41 um, or 741 is H. So Y, Z, and H, these three colors right here, if you can see this yellow, orange, and darker orange. These are all together, okay? So you're gonna see the Y's and the Z's right there. You're gonna see the Y's and the Z's and the H's. So it's definitely gonna be in the sunset and that is gonna be beautiful. There's Y's and Z's down here in the highlights on her hands. There's highlights on um, the plane. What are these called again? Oh my goodness, I can't think. The air balloon, they're not air, air balloon. <laughs> struggling okay guys yeah i'm sorry but anyway so that is where those are going to go now your a b the white one is going to be this zero circle or o symbol and this one is going to be like in her eyes there is going to be some right here on her nose there's going to be some at the very center of the sunset and then right here in the lighter parts of her hair as well as some light parts on the goggles. The purples, so these two purples are K and the Tetris piece, so I'll show you. So K and the Tetris piece. And these ones are going to be up here in the sky, so if you can see the K. Now, to be honest, I think this is the, these symbols are not very easy to see, but by process of elimination, you can figure out that they're this 333 there. I just wanted to note that. But we've got our Ks up here. Then in the goggles, we've got our Ks, and then we've got the Tetris symbol right here. But it's the purples. Um, and that's about, oh, there is some more Tetris symbols down here in the sunset. So this sunset is going to be so gorgeous. Now your crystals, this light crystal is the symbol B, and that one is going to be this lighter yellow color. Do you see in here? Lots of bees there. In here, there's going to be some a ton right here in her hair in the glow of the sunset up here on the plane and some in the goggles. So you're definitely gonna have a lot of that. This green one, is going to be the symbol <laughs> this one is that a computer i don't know i don't know what you call that symbol but that one is going to be in her eyes right here just this green and then right up here in the goggles so those just a few places right there and then this vibrant blue is going to be the q so you can see that q right there and that one is going to be, I thought I had, oh yeah, okay, so right here, this in this strand of hair, this blue right here. So that is about the only place that I see that cue, this, this blue right here, I'll show you. So that is the ABs on here. Now everything else though, like these, the what the symbols that are printed in black look really clear and nice. I have, I do have to say that. I think a lot of times it's the symbols that get printed in white that don't look so good. You know, you've got the staples right here, the upside down Y and the circles. They can be harder to read, the plus symbols. Now in working on this kit, because this is a steampunk and we've got right here this gold as well as like on her goggles, I would definitely pull out probably some gold, whether antique or copper or sunshine sparklers and definitely sparkle up that gold. I think it would be really fun in this kit. So you guys, let me know what you think. 
Um, again, I feel like there's maybe too many colors for my taste. 60 for this size of a painting is, is a lot. Um, when I think that it is going to be a lot of confetti, I'm not sure how much, but of course you guys, I haven't seen it finished. So, you know, maybe it adds perfectly to the rendering. So you guys, here is the two Jasmine Beckett Griffiths that I ordered from Craftably. Again, if you would like to order both either of these, they are in the shop right now and they are perfect for you guys that love a ton of colors and love confetti. I think it's so awesome that they come with so many crystals and ABs. I think that's really neat. And again, my friend Shay, who's um, co-hosting JBG along with me, um, has a code and I will put that in the description down below. But I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you in another video. Bye. <laughs>